Hello guys I am your host H Natalia I welcome you in our social media network Al Badher. Before going towards our video I recommend you to watch till end and subscribe our channel to watch more like this. Introduction Welcome to our YouTube video honoring the life and legacy of Yasser Arafat, the iconic Palestinian leader who played a central role in the Palestinian struggle for self-determination and peace in the Middle East. Born on August 24, 1929, in Cairo, Egypt, Arafat's leadership of the Palestinian Liberation Organization PLO, made him a prominent figure on the international stage. Join us as we delve into the life, political journey, and efforts of Yasser Arafat, a man who dedicated his life to the pursuit of Palestinian statehood and a peaceful resolution to the Arab-Israeli conflict. 1. Early Life and Activism Yasser Arafat was born as Muhammad Abdul Rahman Abdul Rauf Arafat al-Qudwa al-Husseini, but he later adopted the name Yasser Arafat. Raised in Jerusalem, he became politically active during his university years in Egypt, where he co-founded the General Union of Palestinian Students. 2. The Formation of the PLO In 1964, Arafat was a driving force behind the establishment of the Palestinian Liberation Organization PLO, an umbrella organization representing Palestinian interests and seeking the liberation of Palestinian territories from Israeli occupation. 3. The Palestinian Cause and Armed Struggle Throughout the 1960s and 1970s, Arafat and the PLO engaged in armed struggle, conducting guerrilla operations against Israeli targets and promoting the Palestinian cause on the global stage. Arafat famously addressed the United Nations in 1974, urging support for Palestinian statehood. 4. The Oslo Accords and the Peace Process In the early 1990s, Arafat made significant strides towards peace negotiations with Israel. In 1993, he signed the Oslo Accords with Israeli Prime Minister Yitzhak Rabin, leading to limited Palestinian self-rule in the West Bank and Gaza Strip. For his efforts, Arafat was jointly awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1994, along with Rabin and Israeli Foreign Minister Shimon Peres. 5. Challenges and Criticisms Despite his role in peace negotiations, Arafat faced criticism from some Palestinians who believed he compromised too much in the Oslo Accords. Additionally, he was accused of not doing enough to stop violence during the Second Intifada, which erupted in 2000. 6. The Siege of the Mukhtala In 2002, during the Second Intifada, Israeli forces besieged Arafat's compound, the Mukhtala, in Ramallah. Arafat remained confined there until his death in 2004, drawing international attention to the plight of the Palestinian people. 7. Legacy and Impact Yasser Arafat's leadership and dedication to the Palestinian cause made him a symbol of resistance and national identity for Palestinians worldwide. His legacy remains deeply intertwined with the ongoing Israeli-Palestinian conflict, with opinions on his impact varying widely. 8. Continuing Challenges and the Quest for Peace Today, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict continues to be a pressing issue in the Middle East. Arafat's vision of an independent Palestinian state alongside Israel remains unfulfilled, and achieving lasting peace remains a complex challenge. Conclusion Yasser Arafat, the Palestinian leader and Nobel Peace Prize laureate, dedicated his life to advocating for Palestinian self-determination and statehood. Despite controversies and challenges, his role in bringing the Palestinian cause to the global stage cannot be denied. As we remember Arafat's contributions, let us hope for a future where peace, dialogue, and understanding prevail in the pursuit of a just and lasting resolution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict.